Welcome everybody to another Patch Notes Breakdown. This is the 10.5 bonus update coming out on my birthday. Coming out tomorrow, I'm recording this on the 29th. We are getting, I want you to guess that god, who is it? Well, you probably wouldn't have guessed it. I thought it was going to be Gilgamesh, but it is Chop Chop Osiris. And we're getting Cosmic Traveler Kleena as well. Both the card arts for these look fan-freaking-tastic. Can't wait to see them in-game as well. Uh, as far as bonus balance, we've got a couple little hints here that... In 10.6, there's going to be like a game-wide decrease on power across the board, which will buff tanks. So keep that in mind of with some of the changes happening in this bonus balance patch. They did go ahead and kind of fix the way damage mitigation was working with the cap that happened in 10.5. They say damage mitigation from items and from gods will now stack normally in an additive way, whereas before, like whatever one was the highest was taking place of it. So damage mitigation cap and stacking rules. The damage mitigation from God-based sources have no cap. And therefore, Toll's damage mitigation also has no cap. Only damage mitigations from items is cast, but it's 25%. And they go through and talk about this includes Elixir of Defense, Spirit Robe, Oni Hunter's Garb, Berserker Shield, Evolved Prophetic Cloak, Sigil of the Old Guard, and Lonos Mask. So keep an eye out for those. We are seeing some item nerfs here. Lotus Sickle, they're going to decrease the protections gained from the item's passive from 15 increased magical physical prots to 10. Death Toll is getting increased healing to 0.3% of your maximum health was 0.2% before. Leather Cow, there's getting a nerf on the physical power from 18 to 15. Kernanos is seeing another nerf here. And, you know, this god has been hit heavily over this season thus far. Heavy Glaive decreased the damage from 30% to 25% of his attack damage. The Wild Hunt decreased the polymorph duration from 2 seconds to 1.5 seconds. I think that's a pretty significant nerf. I think this god obviously still has a lot of good things in his kit, so he will still be played. But this does kind of knock him down the meta list possibly for some ADCs. I know I don't value him super highly, but I know many ADCs do. Guan Yu is also going to be receiving a nerf because this god is dumb. Talus Assault decreased max stacks from 4 to 3 on the protection steal, and they decreased the boosted max stats from 4 on 3 of the protection steal. So we've seen him played a lot. Obviously, it's more centered around his heal and providing CDR, but a nerf to him is needed nonetheless because this god has been played a ton along with Vaman, who we'll see here in a few. We also have a Hell nerf. They're going to say the Hinder and Cleanse. They increase the Protection Reduction debuff on Hinder from 5 which, to 25 plus 10% to now 5, scaling to 15 plus 5%. Pretty heavy nerf, but I think this does kind of bring her in line on that Protection Shred side. So see how that ends up panning out here. Hercules nerf. Thank the gods on that. Hercules Damage or mitigation wounds decrease the damage returned as healing from 20 to 52 percent to 20 to 44 percent. Nerf this god. I am tired of seeing him in my games. Martikaros nerf, not surprised here. This god has been dominating a lot in the mid lane. We've seen him carry from time to time. That jungle grass disc kind of goes hard, but that's not what's being nerfed here. It's going to be the poison barbed. They're going to increase the cooldown from 12, reducing now to 10 seconds, now being 13 to 11 seconds. So just a little bit longer cooldown to every level. Death from above, they're going to decrease the physical power scaling per hit from 20% to 18%, and the max is 12 ticks. And I think that's overall, it's going to be a good nerf. It's going to keep him where he's still viable, but he's not going to be overly played, in my opinion. Nox, who would have thought, you know, that Nox was going to finally get a nerf? Night Terror, decrease the damage dealt debuff. This ability places on enemies from 40 to 30%. Is this the ult? Or is this the change that Nox needed? I'm not so sure, but it's a nerf nonetheless. And this god has been going kind of crazy in support at the SPL level. So I'm not too terribly surprised to see this nerf. But I do find it funny that that's the nerf that was chosen. Uh, Sir Ket, obviously, with the crit being added to the passive on the ult. This god has just seen a rise in play. She's been kind of going bananas in jungle. A little bit in support, but mostly in jungle. Has a high pick ban rate. So Deathbane, they're going to decrease the Protection Reduction debuff from 10 to 5%. Cobra's Kiss, they're going to decrease Madness Duration from 1.4 seconds to 1.2 seconds at all ranks. And then Last Breath, they're going to decrease Passive Crit Chance from ranking up these abilities from 10 to 30% scaling to 0 to 20% scaling. And this is what really a lot of people would ask for, 
is not getting that free 10% crit right as you hit the level up on the ult. This is going to help bring her more in line. She's still going to be good, but it's she's not going to be as oppressive to play against. Speaking of oppressive gods to play against, Vaman is going to be getting nerfed here. They're going to take Sleeping Giant, decrease the amount of physical power gained from physical protections from 25% to 20%. They're also going to decrease the amount of attack speed gained from physical prots from 15% to 10%. Um, pretty significant nerf there. Along with that, Colossal Fury is going to have a decreased physical power gain from 45 to 85, now 35 to 75. Will the giant still rise from his slumber? Yes. Is he going to be less oppressive? Yes. Is that good for Smite? Yes. Uh, and that is it for the 10.5 bonus balance update. I hope you all... Have a great patch day. And, you know, you get to chop, chop it in the kitchen, cook up something good before you test out and hit the battleground. If you have not listened to Up Your Experience podcast or Battlegrounds of the Gods, it's Smite podcast. You should go check those out. You can catch me live over at twitch.tv backslash Blaze McBain for Smite content and some other stuff coming up soon. So we'll catch you all later. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.